Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, So I've got an updated review of the Foxhound um, Foxhound ROM um, This is actually, we used to call it What do we used to call it? Batista! That's right, Batista um, Foxhound, I'm still gonna call it Batista It was one of the best ROMs uh, when Batista first came out with gingerbread and stuff um, I still remember then, uh, we didn't have as many ROMs, but um, it was really cool. This was one of the best ROMs, and uh, it's still being updated. Um, and uh, I wanted to do a review. It comes with the SIA kernel. Um, this is still one of my favorite ROMs for the Galaxy S2. Um, you're most likely not going to get keys working here, but you can probably get keys, uh, keys Air. Just download Keys Air and uh, if you have Wi-Fi, you can connect it via Keys Wi-Fi. I'm not sure app to SD is working either on any of these. Um, or oh, actually, it should work. Probably work on this one. Um, this is not AOKP. Um, so this one is uh, been updated uh, with a lot of stuff. And uh, the main thing is you'll you'll notice is the TouchWiz UX, which is the same TouchWiz um, launched with the Galaxy S3. Now you can get. I, I totally noticed how how much faster um, you know this uh, Galaxy S3 TouchWiz UX is uh, TouchWiz 5.0. You also you can also call it. Um, I really love it. it. It's you know it's sort of like uh, Galaxy Nexus ICS more like yet it keeps um, some of the Samsung features. Um, definitely, this is one of the best ROMs out there. I, oh, you know what? Samsung Keys might work since it does have Samsung apps. Never mind. Um, but the main feature is that you can use uh, the TouchWiz um, UX with the new version. Comes with DSP Manager. Um, and for, for first time newbies, I know a lot of you are first time newbies. Um, it's okay to be a newbie on my channel. <laughs> Uh, go to performance and uh, go to performance. I got it set it out to 1.6 gigahertz now. Not all Galaxy S2s are made same, so try out the uh, maximum. And then once you find the maximum, you can set it up boot. So on reboot, it will um, use that setting. And there's an interesting Pega Pegasus Q governor here which uh, is the default governor. I'm gonna leave it at that and see how the battery life is. Um, but uh, that should work pretty good for this ROM since uh, it's made for that. Other than that, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this ROM. Um, it's not in settings, it's in, uh, oh, is it in settings? I did show you this, right? Um, yeah, this is 4.0.3. Uh, performance OTA updates. You can actually get uh, OTA updates extras. Uh, we'll go look at extras really quick. Um, go to settings. Oh, I gotta, gotta configure this. Um, there you go. Update settings. Uh, display experimental extras. All right. And let's try the extras. Yeah. Try for uh, ROM updates, so you can you can actually download ROMs on the go uh, once you have it. Um, so I have the stable version, which is a Sniper Wolf, which is what I'm running right now. But a uh, pretty solid ROM. The ROM developer has been uh, making this for a while, for so you're not gonna find some surprise bugs or anything like that. Um, hmm. Let me see what else. Oh, it also you can get Apex Launcher. Also, it's gonna look like that. Um, so you have a choice of the Apex Launcher or the uh, TouchWiz UX. Both of my favorite launchers, actually. Um, so those are all the apps that comes with. Quick panel settings. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't tried with that. Um, there's also BLN. Yes. So uh, what BLN is is uh, LED notifications. Um, you get you get the uh, lighted up. Um, Capacitative buttons, capacitive buttons there. Um, so that means I have a message or you know, email or whatever. Um, you can mess with that. So the kernel supports that uh, BLN, SIA kernel. So you can actually um, do even more stuff like you know, only only turn on when there's Gmail. Well, I'm not sure if you can do that. <laughs> uh, but definitely a great ROM. I'm not going to run Quadrant. You're going to probably get some wonderful scores on this. 
um, but certainly one of the best ROMs out and now it's been updated with TouchWiz UX and uh, give it a go and let me know what you think and that's the ROM of the week uh, for Galaxy S2 I just wanted to do an update on this ROM um, this was also one of my very favorites um, and uh, try it out let me know what you think of this ROM let me know if you have any problems I'll look into it um, and also I've got Resurrection 2.0 I don't know if I'm gonna do a video um, if there's not that many changes um, you can just go download it and try it out I mean um, <clears throat> I guess that's what I'll do or maybe I'll do another video we'll see um, but if you have a Galaxy S2, AT&T T-Mobile or i9100 don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com uh, we update you like once a week well more like once every two weeks uh, with ROM of the week ROM of the every two weeks and uh, tips hacks and more and it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email and uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. And uh, subscribe button up there. If you have, thanks a lot. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And don't forget to let me, uh, let me know your thoughts on this ROM. And if you're already running it, don't forget to tell me what's so cool about it. Uh, so everyone else knows uh, how cool this ROM is. Anyway, um, it's another great uh, Wednesday here in SF Bay Area. It's um, it's really nice. So I'm gonna actually go enjoy myself, and I have a like a stomach ache, so I, I I'm gonna just take it easy today, watch movies. All right, see y'all later, and stay high on Android, and don't don't buy iPhone. <laughs>